Hey friends, Jessica here with Creators Couture. So I just made a really fun little brush duo for spring and I thought I would share it with you, show it in action and see what you guys think. So um, first of all, I was playing around with a brush and just messing around with the settings, not really expecting anything to come of it, but actually I found it made a really cool floral motif and it was kind of similar to the ones that I've done with Romantic English Garden, but I really liked how this brush turned out and I think it's a really fun brush to give you the illusion or the impression of like a bouquet of flowers and I really like how it turned out. And so I thought I would complement that with a little nice watercolor brush that we could use for the backgrounds and it's got a really nice like little um, bleeding sort of effect. So I'm going to demo both of those brushes. But here I've got both of those brushes. You can see them in action on like a light background. And all I did was just make a couple little brush strokes. So this is the um, floral bouquet brush stroke. And then I've got this in an off kind of green. I've got this nice watercolor behind it. Just a nice abstract floral background. And really this is just a couple brush strokes. So it's super easy. And then here I played around with it on the on a dark background and I really didn't worry about making this look good. It was just kind of to give the idea, get your, you know, give you an idea, get your mind going, what have you. And I was playing around with both brushes here. But on this brush, it was a little bit different because I made one brush that was for the light backgrounds and one brush for the dark backgrounds. So for example, when I first made this brush, I'm going to show you here, let's put a dark background on. This is, you can kind of see it here and it really looked, I, I, I loved how ethereal it looked um, and soft, but whenever I turned the dark background off, it looked way too light. So what I did was I adapted that brush and made a uh, version for the lighter backgrounds that's more filled in and more thick. And here you can see the nice um, watercolor brush that I have going on. But I'll just kind of show, show you guys um, these brushes in action so we can get a little um, preview of the brushes. So let's just go ahead and I'll start with, um, I'm going to start with the dark. And I will, um, first of all, I made my color blends from directly from photographs. And if you're not familiar with my color blending brush technique, I've got the link down below. And you can see how I made, I'll, I go through in detail, how I made really cool color blends um, that are directly from photos. So I sampled like an area like this from this photograph. This is a free photo from Adobe Stock. Um, I found a little eucalyptus and I sampled this, just a very small screenshot that I made for the other green. This one was my inspiration, my color palette for um the background of the flowers on the dark and then what else did i do so those were all the color palettes and just again i don't want to like go over making the color palettes every time i do a video so i'll have the link down below if you're not familiar with how to do that so let me close those out and let's get to the um, let's go window arrange to a vertical and so we're going to put side by side um, I'll put my reference one here. So this is the floral on the dark and I'm going to make a new layer here on my new demo file and let's just, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so we can kind of see these brushes in action and let's see here. So I'm going to go down to my bo bouquet on dark and grab that brush and I'm going to grab the color palette that I got from the Adobe stock, the really super multicolor one. And so when I make this, let's see, let me undo that. Select all cut. Okay. So when I draw with this, this is pressure sensitive. Um, you can see we're getting a very ethereal, lovely, um, sort of a bouquet situation going on here. And I just think it's really lovely. So we're taking all of those beautiful colors from that photograph and it's coming out in a really gorgeous multicolor brush. And I just thought this was a really fresh brush and I don't have anything just like it. So that, I just love it. I love how it goes. And you'll notice though, if I take off the dark background, this looks really light and not as good. So that's why I made two versions of this brush. So we've got that here. And you know, of course you can, 
if you press lighter, it's going to you know, be very a little bit more translucent or you can push down hard and then you're just getting all those gorgeous um, strong colors coming out. And so I really liked that. And I'm going to put a new layer behind this and I use the other brush, um, the watercolor bleed. And let's see here. So let's just see this brush in action here. So here I'm using the same color palette. So we're getting all of those lovely colors coming out and it's pressure sensitive too. So you can push down harder and get it really opaque or you can push down light and you're just getting all those lovely um, colors coming out. So it's so much fun. And, but for this one, what I did was I took a, like a black and gray color palette from my Modern Impressionist Brush Studio and so I've got that here and here I just um, I'm doing that brush with that the those color palettes so you can see it created a very moody effect behind the um, florals that I did over here so I can just kind of do something similar and I really love the mood that it gave them this florals you know and so I just kind of played with that over here but it's definitely a mood. I think it's really cool. And if you notice here, I put little, um, some little smudges of this uh, multicolor color palette um, from the flowers, the, the Adobe stock. So uh, let me just make, take this down a size. And so I just put, you know, put a couple smudges of this brush, but I love the smudginess and all of the bleed the kind of a watercolor bleed that you have going on so it can just create some really cool sort of smudges and effects and i find that this is like a very ethereal sort of vibe that you're getting with those dark florals and all you know what's cool about this is you can control it you can you know do what you want with it but you know no drawing ability of all involved and it just is um you know the brushes are doing all the work and uh, over here, I'm just going to show you what I, I was playing around with. Oh, yeah. So what I did here was I was playing around with adding. Um, let's just zoom in a little bit. This was just kind of having a little fun after I made the main one is I thought it was very moody and dark. And so I thought I would kind of it all kind of play with like the idea of a galaxy so I brought in some of my galaxy brushes and I put brush number six for these little like multicolor stars that are all around the flowers and then I also use brush number 19 in the gray so I'm just going to do that over here and see what you guys think but anyway it's always about just playing around and having oops playing around having fun not worrying about um if everything is perfect so let's just look over here so i'll just make a new layer above this and so what i did was i've got my color blend from the um the flowers and i went up to my galaxy brush collection and i grabbed brush number six which is like some little stars but yeah this is pretty good actually and so i kind of just might take that brush size up a little bit maybe not I'll leave it and anyway so all the colors of the flowers are coming out and I just thought it kind of looked cool because it's kind of this like a mix between flowers and galaxy with a dark background and I thought that was really fun and then um, even I could go behind the flowers here and I took I think on the other one I took brush number 19 which has got these like really cool sort of um, I don't know kind of a it's like a dramatic sort of nebulous sort of thing that pops up when you draw this. So I took that, um, the grays, uh, the gray color palette and kind of went behind the brushes and kind of added some of that nebulous sort of thing, or maybe even in front, I could probably add it. And it just kind of like created sort of a vibe of flower, but, um, flower but a sort of oops no um galaxy so I thought it was kind of fun and so yeah that was just playing around with it but I think it looks cool anyway um by itself with that dark background so that's the one with the um the bouquet that's meant to be on the dark background and so let's go here this is a little more classic floral here we got going on 
And so I've got this color palette that I took from the other flower image. So let's look at that brush in action here. And what do I got? Okay, so I've got Bouquet on Light. And I'm gonna go to this color palette here that I created from the image. And let's look at this in action. So let's make a new layer. And as you can see, let me just zoom in so we can get a nice pretty view of that brush. Love how that's making a flower motif. It feels very splashy, very, and actually started this with like a watercolor tip. So, um, and you can even just kind of continue to add in, you know, whatever, but I like having a little translucent, but it gives that very watercolor splashy feel of a, um, a bouquet, like a flowers. And I love all of the colors that are coming out from that photograph because it's just mixing everything in and looking more like a bouquet. But we didn't have to do all that. We didn't have to go grab the green. We didn't have to go grab the orange. We didn't have to go grab the purple. Um, it just makes it come out in a beautiful way. And so I'm going to put a layer underneath it and grab that. I actually sampled this from a eucalyptus plant. And we're going to grab that watercolor bleed brush and see that in action, it's just gorgeous. I love the bleed that this brush um, has. And so I just love kind of adding this as a little bit of an accent. Um, you know, you can just do like that. It's really pretty. So just have some fun. And if the color doesn't come out exactly the way you want it, um, then, you know, draw it again, whatever. And also I played around with having this uh, greenish color palette and then going, grabbing that bouquet brush like I did over here and kind of having some of those like a sort of, um, gosh, I like more of like kind of a leaf motif. So love that. I loved how it turned out. And let's look at this um, watercolor bleed brush in this color palette here. So just like before, it's just gorgeous, very, bleedy very you know you can have a lot of fun and create these gorgeous watercolor strokes with it even that looks quite pretty i really like it um and so you know i just sometimes like always the colors are coming out different so i'm just always kind of playing around and experimenting and redrawing my brush stroke and just saying oh you know and seeing what happens so it's a little bit of um you know like kind of trying and seeing out with the brushes because the, the colors are always going to come out, you know, different and everything. But that's the fun of it and just playing around with that. So I thought I had a lot of fun. Um, let's see here. So that is the brushes. So it's a duo, although technically I have two versions of the bouquet brush. So it's technically a trio. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I have got the little backgrounds that I made here. Um, already and those so all of my source files and the brushes and the color palettes are going to be available right now to my subscribers so you can check the link below and download those right away and if you're not familiar with my um, subscription it's uh, on Behance I'm a featured subscription creator and you can subscribe for ten dollars and download hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tutorial resources my whole library um, tons of brushes so it gives you a really good sample of my brushes if you're new to it and you can cancel anytime so honestly I'd rather you guys just you know download it and if you have to cancel for financial reasons enjoy the brushes but it's a lot of great tutorial resources and also you can use um, these backgrounds that I already made in items for sale so um, that's another bonus and actually, I think I took this one. Let me see if I can find it on my desktop here. Um, the, you know, I made this background and then I, where it is it? I dropped it into a, um, oh, no. I dropped it into Adobe Express and you can make a great like quote graphic or something like that. So, you know, defi definitely take advantage of that if you're an Adobe subscriber. So sometimes, I like making the backgrounds, but I don't want really want to mess with the layouts and stuff to make it, you know, like a, a sample with my um, background. So the Adobe Express is a real lifesaver. I can just, you know, adjust something that's already done and save myself a little time and kind of give you guys an idea of what you can do with it. So check that out. 
and I'm going to have a lot of fun new things this week. So make sure you're subscribed, um, sign up for my newsletter. And if you're a member, go ahead and download those um, brushes. I'll have uh, the link and the information down below. And I will see you guys on the next tutorial.